Hi. Um, thank you so much for inviting me. Uh, my name is Urška Sršen, and I'm the co-founder of BellaBeat. BellaBeat is a company developing tools for self-tracking during pregnancy. So in other words, we are bringing quantified self to pregnancy. And I wanted to share briefly our story of how a co-founding team from Slovenia and Croatia dreamed up a hardware company and managed to tackle one of the most competitive markets at the moment. So my co-founder Sandro and myself started a company in 2012 while we were developing a remote patient monitoring system for professional care providers. So such system would enable patients to do small routine checkups during pregnancy and then send the data to their care providers who, will then, who would then able, be able to examine the data and basically monitor their patients remotely virtually 24-7. But as we were testing the product, we realized that such system, if ever fully integrated, would not only lower the cost of prenatal care, which can cost up to $50,000 per pregnancy, with each examination scaling up to $600, but it would also um, substantially pro uh, better preventive care during pregnancy. But We've also learned that the wants and the needs of the modern moms-to-be have changed drastically over the, over the past few years. And they found contemporary uh, prenatal care rushed and lacking an emotional and social component, as they were more excited about sharing the data with their loved ones than with their care providers. So, we decided to scale down the project a bit and first develop a consumer product which would introduce tools for self-tracking to pregnancy. And then we hit another challenge, so entering the, the quantified self and wearables market. Because what Bellabit became was a device and an app that allows pregnant moms to listen to their baby's heartbeat and share it with their loved ones. And through the Balabit app, they can also track other things in pregnancy, such as prenatal weight gain and fetal movement, to get a better insight into their pregnancy. So, how can a small company such as Balabit be competing in a market where even bigger companies are bailing out of hardware? A few things we've al already learned while working with hardware, and that's that um, we're still pretty early on with wearables, so it's very hard to predict what is the exact future of the wearables. But one thing is for sure, the data that users are receiving and the way wearables are integrated into the user's everyday lifestyle, use um, and habits has to be so seamless that it becomes a habit that we take every day and starts transforming the, the way we take care, take care of our health. So we believe that the wearables are actually just consumer products paving the way for much more complicated M health systems and digitalization of healthcare. So we took a little bit of different angle with approaching the market. We decided, decided to focus on this very narrow niche uh, that has been overlooked so far. But I'm not sure if you are very aware of the fact that even though the states alone are spending 98, 98 billions on prenatal care and hospitalization during childbirth. Complications during pregnancy are becoming more and more frequent, even in the developed countries. And they're usually the reason of, um, of consequences of our modern lifestyle, such as um, obesity and stress. So, well-led preventive during prenatal care can lead to minima minimalization of such complications during pregnancy, but usually healthcare systems don't have the capacity and ability to provide enough patient care um, to bring them down. So even though the, sol the solution is as simple as getting patients to be more engaged in their prenatal care and just leading a healthier lifestyle during pregnancy. And wearables can help them with that. So here I would like to also expose a little bit of the business side of 
having a startup because um, some of you might already be wondering how can a small company such as Bellabeat uh, trying to be trying to solving um, problems when uh, big problems when even orga bigger organizations and companies don't really know how to solve. Um, but it has shown through the past few years that actually it's the smaller companies, so-called startups, that are much better at solving um, big problems because they are very uh, agile um, and flexible and can be very fast at uh, applying the solutions. So since most of the audience here uh, is probably European, We've started a building company somewhere between Slovenia and Croatia. Um, so we've started in Europe, but then had a chance to participate in this winter's Y Combinator um, batch. And we realized that Europe is just not uh, providing enough support and funding for small um, but fastly growing companies. Mm. So. Being part of the Y Combinator actually enabled us to launch on foreign markets and attract attention of foreign investors, uh, which led to a uh, successfully closed round of, of $4.5 million. Um, so, and that investor, investment was crucial for our company's growth, expansion to foreign markets, and developing new products for prenatal care. So, I'd like to conclude with just a few thoughts, and that is that with Bellabeat, we truly believe that uh, quantified self products, so wearables, have the potential to lead the way for the di digitalization in healthcare, but also that Europe is a great place of forging very resilient and resourceful founders. Thank you so much.